Go to Cripple Creek, go on a run, go on to Cripple Creek, have some fun. Hey there, it's Jamie Anderson, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play chop chords for Cripple Creek on the mandolin. Hit the red subscribe button, and let's get started. Now, if you have already mastered open chords on the mandolin, that's these kinds of chords, your next step is to learn some chop chords. Now they're called chop chords because there's a certain kind of strum called a chop that's often used with these kinds of chords. Not always, but often. And so that's what I'm going to show you in this video. First I'm going to show you the chords and then I'll show you the strum that I'm playing. So here is the G chord that you'll be playing. Now for you beginners, you're thinking, holy cow, Jamie, my fingers don't do that. Well, with practice they will do that. Um, I learned to play this chord form at a jam at Merle Fest in North Carolina where I played this form for four hours. I don't recommend that, but by the end of the four hours, I knew how to play it. Of course, I walked around like this the next day. But at any rate, um, <laughs> here's the form. And this is a form that's movable, and I'll get into that in another video. But right now, this is the one that you want to learn. This is a G. One of the other chords in this song is a C. So what you're going to do is pick up your little finger and you're going to move this shape up one set of strings. Okay, so now you're playing the second, third, and fourth set of strings. So second, third, and fourth. And that's a C. Now take this shape and move it all down to the fourth through the seventh fret and that is a D. Now there's other chop chords for G, C, and D, and uh, maybe I'll show those in another video, but right now you just need to know those three forms. Now, how do you do the chop chord? I'm going to demonstrate on uh, G. If you're having trouble with the G chord, um, you can try a shortcut G, which is lifting up your little finger. The problem with that is that you still have an open string here ringing, so I recommend you try to do this, do your best with it, just know it's going to sound crummy for a little while. So you want to lay your fingers on the strings, but don't press down, so you get a nice satisfying click. So you're really only hearing the sound of the pick against the strings. Okay. Then you press them down so you get the sound of the, of the chord. Okay. So you've got the chop. Then the chord. Chop, chord. Now chop chords by their very nature are going to sound a little more muffled than these open chords you've been playing. All right. So I don't want you to go through every string and think, oh my gosh, that isn't perfectly crystal clear. Do not worry about it. The more you play this chord form, the better it's going to sound. So let's try that chop on this uh, G. So ready and chop, chord, chop, chord. Chop, chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's try it on the other chords. So here we are on the C chord. Now, remember for that the C shape here, you're not playing that bottom set of strings. So chop, chord, chop, chord, chop. Okay. Slide it down, let's try it on the D. Alright, let's dive into this song. I'm going to play it slowly so that you can play it with me. And remember, at first, these chop chords are going to sound a little crummy. So the important thing is to get your fingers in the right place and practice. And that way you can gain the strength and the flexibility you need to play these chords. So here we go. Ready and... Going up to see her about the middle of the week. Kiss her on the mouth, just as sweet as wine. Wrap herself around me like a sweet potato vine. Going up to Cripple Creek, going in a run. Going up to Cripple Creek, have some fun. Going up to Cripple Creek, going in a whirl. Going up to Cripple Creek to see my girl. There you go. So here's uh, the speed it probably should be at. Going up Cripple Creek, going to run, going to Cripple Creek, have some fun. Going up Cripple Creek, going in a whirl, going to Cripple Creek, see my girl. <laughs> okay, so.
So don't worry about playing it at that speed yet. Just practice it as slowly as you need to. Turn off the video if you want and um, practice, practice, practice. If you want more mandolin lessons, there'll be a link to all my lessons underneath this video, as well as other things that you might be interested in. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can go to patreon.com slash Jamie Anderson, and that's one of the ways that I support myself to do these lessons and performances. Go to jamieanderson.com if you want to know more about my original music, and if you want to get on the waiting list for Skype private lessons. Thanks for tuning in.